over there and yeah we learned that um zooplankton eat the phytoplankton we paddled out and looked at plankton learned that that all of the wood on top of the canoe was made out of house we went out sailing to learn about some photoplanktons and zooplanktons we learned about the cells and how the Polynesians got here and how they found this island. I learned that they don't catch stuff for fun. Who just told us about the how tree and how to strip it and stuff. I think just bringing in some perspective um, from somebody that, that grew up here that went through this education system and not even what we say to the kids, but just being there and saying, you know what, I grew up here, I wanted to work with the ocean and, and look, somebody's gonna, you know, pay me to work with the ocean every day and you guys can you guys can do the same thing if you love the ocean, but you have to put in the work and you have to learn how to study it the right way. Uh, so you guys need to learn how to approach it and be serious about it. You have, you have to learn math, you have to know how to read and ha know how to write if you want to work in this field. Reading is kind of boring because there's nothing to do but like a big book. <laughs> the book is, you just gotta sit there and read it and then after that you gotta do like some work. But over here you can just like watch it and look at it and then they just ask you questions. We get to look and go outside on a canoe and ride it and look at the different stuff in the ocean. We talk about, you know, the ahupua'a and the different parts of the ahupua'a and ho how Hawaiians divided the land and why they did it that way, how it sustained their resources to survive. And I also try to focus on integrating culture and science together and making it really fun and interactive and hands-on as well.